Penn State 41, Auburn 12. And, you know, uh, this is another one of those interesting ones. Um, Either Brian Harson or the team. uh, And it's one of two things. Either they don't care because they don't have the right quarterback and they know that they can't win, or... um, or they're just really, really, really bad. And I, I can't decide which one it is. Because I, I think, I mean, maybe it's a combination. Because they just do not have the roster put together that that would make sense here. Right? And maybe I'm crazy. I mean, you guys can fill me in on this. But I, I Penn State just demolished them. I mean, it was it was not even close. Uh from from the word go, really, I mean Auburn, like when they were on script early, it looked good. As soon as they got off the script, and they had to uh, find a way to not necessarily improvise, but you you get the point. They didn't look good. I mean they were they were putrid. Uh, looking at the stats here, yards per play, Penn State had seven point seven. They had four hundred seventy seven total yards, and now Auburn had four hundred fifteen. But still, Auburn had four turnovers to zero for Penn State. Uh, on top of that. The third down tries, heavily skewed in Penn State's favor. Um, at, you know, at looking at points per scoring opportunity, both teams had six scoring opportunities. That's drives inside the 40. 5.67 for Penn State. They finished drives. Uh, they had 10 points off of turnovers. They had the way better field position, obviously because of the turnovers. But, you know, Nick Singleton, 10 rushes for 124 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, that's absurd. T.J. Finley and Robbie Ashford both threw a pick in this game. Um, Penn State, by the way, the Penn State fans were awesome. What a showing by the Penn State faithful. Coming down to Auburn, making their presence felt, it was a good time for all because this team looks legit. And I think that Purdue might actually be a pretty good team because Penn State did not look this good against Purdue. And against Auburn, they, and that's a talented roster that Auburn has. I mean, just talented. But, man, uh, did they get destroyed in this one. Uh, in the second half for Penn State. Now, remember, it was 14-6 to six at the half. They had a touchdown, field goal off of a fumble, a touchdown off an interception, four plays and a touchdown, six plays and a touchdown, or excuse me, nine plays and a uh, field goal. And the best part about the game is Clifford didn't have to be great in this game, and yet he was still really, really good. If you look at his overall numbers here, uh, going back to the actual game, Sean Clifford, 14 out of 19 for 178 yards, ran six times for 15 yards and one touchdown. No turnovers, clean game, beautiful. Drew Allar got in two for two. I mean, it's awesome. It's awesome. Uh, just just a clean game by them and not clean at all by Auburn. Tank Bixby could not get going. Nine attempts for 39 yards. Robbie Ashford ran the ball more times than Tank Bixby did. Now, obviously, when you get in a hole, you're going to need to throw the ball more, but they were they were down 14-6 to six in the first half. They could have run Bixby more than they did. Uh, just mistake after mistake for this Auburn football team, and it continues on. Uh, so the Harson watch is officially on, right? I mean, that's that's exactly what we're getting here. Uh, and this, of course, after Penn State fumbled on their on their first drive. <laughs> I mean, just just ridiculous. But uh, but yes, I mean, overall, if you're a Penn State fan, you are excited today. You are very excited uh, because this you had two big road games to start off your season. You had at Purdue on a Thursday night, and then you had at Auburn. National TV on CBS, and you got them, you got both of them. Now you did this last year, uh, but now I think there's a little more hope that even if Sean Clifford goes down, you've still got a quarterback that can actually make it happen. So I'm I'm excited for Penn State's prospects. I mean, you guys know if you watch the show, I picked them to go ten and two this year. Um, a lot of people thought I was nuts, but this team looks like they are capable of doing some really really exciting things. So I'm I'm excited to see exactly where Penn State goes next. Uh, but this is a veteran team that looks pretty good. They've got young pieces in the right places. Singleton looks like an absolute beast. That's two straight games of a 100-yard rusher. 
Didn't have one of those at all last year. So definitely big things there. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.